hello and welcome to my channel uh, if you're new here my name is Teresa and I am doing all things knitting on this channel uh, today it is time for a podcast again it is the 12th episode already and uh, I have some stuff to show you again um, we're gonna start with the finished objects as always and I have a few uh, that I finished recently so uh, the first one that I want to share with you is actually the Agnes cardigan by Petite Knit and uh, this is her uh, she is finished and blocked and uh, I knitted her with Santa's Garn uh, Tin Brigand and Drop Skid Silk uh, she was a beast of a project. Uh, she's knit on 3mm needles, which is very small. But I enjoyed this one so much and I just could not stop knitting it. Uh, with most of my projects, uh, there comes a point where uh, I just don't want to knit it at all for a while. Uh, but this one, um, I just kept on knitting. I do feel that uh, the reason for that is also that there was a cowl going on for this. Uh, cardigan from uh, Tiffany Liu from Typical Bliss and uh, she had a cowl every Thursday where uh, we were knitting the Agnes cardigan and uh, that really helped me uh, keep motivated to actually finish it I'm really happy with this one uh, I'm actually also very sad that it is getting a, a lot warmer again because uh, I tried wearing this out a few times now and I had to take it off every time because I was just sweating so much with this on. So I'm hoping that there will be a few cooler evenings uh, soon so I can show this one off. I feel like it has a very pretty and classic look which goes with uh, a lot of styles. Um, and one negative of this, and it's not about the pattern but the yarn that I used, is uh, every time I wore this there was mohair everywhere uh, I was just breathing in the mohair the whole time that I was wearing it so that's a bit of uh, a disadvantage of this one but other than that it is perfect I do love that uh, the button band is knitted uh, while you are knitting the cardigan itself so you don't have to uh, pick up stitches for the button band um, because I feel, feel like uh, with other projects for example the camisole number five and also I'm a little spoiler I am doing a cardigan number eight where you have to pick up stitches for the bottom band afterwards and uh, I'm just dreading it and I do not want to do it so uh, that's one of the things that I really liked about this one and it made it a little bit easier to finish um, one of the things about this is that after blocking it is still a little bit short, shorter than I like. Um, so I, I wish I had made it a little bit longer, but you had to make the choice to make it longer uh, at the beginning of starting the button band because you had to space out the buttons in an even way. So um, unfortunately I didn't do that, but it's not that short that I uh, will not wear it. I can still wear it with high waisted uh, pants, which I wear most of the time so it's not that big of a deal but uh, I'm very happy with it as I said uh, it is a little bit prickly so I do have to wear something underneath it um, which makes it a little bit less uh, suitable for uh, the next period in summer but I really enjoyed the process so it is worth it and there will be a time to wear this again so I'm not worried about that I think that's all there is about to say about the Agnes cardigan um, I really love it. I also feel like when I wore this I felt so beautiful so uh, that's also a big plus about this one. Uh, but on to the next one uh, which is actually a project that I freehanded uh, a while ago. It was the first time uh, making something without a pattern so it was really exciting and uh, I also did some color work on it which was extra challenging but um, I will show you what it is. Uh, it is a little crop top uh, that I made. So it's not um, a difficult pattern with a lot of increases or decreases or stuff sizing wise. It's just like a rectangular top uh, which is cropped and then there are uh, some straps with it. Um, I used Drops Merino Extra Fine for this and um, the thing that I love most about this top is actually the moss stitch instead of ribbing on it 
Um, I really love mask stitch ever since I made the Ingrid sweater and I just could not wait to do it again. So um, when I had a chance, uh, I really wanted to incorporate it into my own uh, thing. And uh, it was actually really fun to do something without a pattern. At some point I was like, oh, I need to look at the pattern to see what I have to do now. But then I reminded myself, I do not have a pattern, I'm freehanding this. So that was a whole new experience. And also the, the yarn got tangled a lot. So uh, a big part of my time working on this was actually just untangling the yarn. Uh, the inside is also looking very interesting. Um, like with every uh, stranded color work, uh, the inside is just looking like this. So that's a very interesting look. Um, but um, you don't see that from the outside. I do have to say it was a whole new uh, side of knitting, uh, knitting without a pattern. Um, I did get the sizing wrong when I first started this. I thought it would be a little bit tight, uh, so I had to add extra stitches. Um, but in the end, uh, it was way looser than in the swatch. Maybe because uh, in the swatch I did it uh, flat and um, with the project, of course, it is in the round. So maybe that made it uh, a little bit of a difference. So I'm not sure about the sizing because um, at some point I made a video about this as well. Uh, at some point I just had to cut uh, a part out of it um, and um, I had to stick uh, both sides and then I had to cut the part between it uh, all out like a whole surgery I had to do. So uh, it was definitely a whole uh, process and uh, I really loved it. I did experience a little bit of stress about uh, not knowing where I was going with this. So that was also different because um, I could not fall back on a pattern. But I feel like uh, in the end I'm really happy with it. I do have to say one strap is longer than the other. I just realized like the other day. So I think I have to open one up again and uh, readjust the strap. Uh, that will happen soon. Uh, when you wear it it's not that noticeable. So we'll see. I do feel like this uh, really opened me up about uh, trying out maybe freehanding something with uh, sizing. So with decreases and increases. Um, but I feel like I'm not ready for that yet, like mentally. Um, so we'll see when I will do that. And also I feel like um, it will take up a lot of work. And if I bring it out and actually no one is buying it, I will be devastated. So uh, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. But yeah. That's it for my first ever freehanded project. Um, I'm very happy about it. The chart that I made up, I had in my head uh, for a very long time and I, I wanted to do something with it, but I did not know what and I did not know how to design uh, something. So this is the first thing that came out of it. Um, I really do like this pattern, so maybe I will uh, make something else with it and then um, add some sizing uh, and shaping to it. Uh, we'll see, uh, but for now I do have a lot of projects with patterns that I want to make, so uh, I won't be sitting still. Um, then the last finished object for this month is actually uh, a pair of socks. And I showed this last time actually, um, and I think one sock was finished and the other one was a whip. But now they're both finished and uh, they are the Riverbed Socks by Joji Logatelli and uh, they are from the 52 Weeks of Socks book that I own uh, and that I'm working uh, through very slowly and uh, they're actually very fun. Um, it is a lace sock so I will try to show you. They're on sock blockers now. Uh, I did not block them but, but it's just a nice way to uh, keep them for now. Um, as you can see, this is the lace part, so uh, there's like a little bit of um, of lace down the middle and the rest is pearl. And then you have, of course, also a little bit of lace at this part uh, above the heel. Um, and then the heel is um, like knitted with like a gusset heel, uh, which I feel like most socks in 52 Weeks of Socks book are. But uh, I'm very happy with them. Uh, they're knitted with uh, Drops Nord. 
uh, which was really nice uh, I did use like a whole skein and then I think for this part of the second sock I had to open up a new skein uh, so I think I would have gotten away with one skein if I made maybe the top a little bit less uh, short but um, but the top already is very short so I think it would maybe be a little bit too short um, but it's fine, I already bought two skeins uh, just to be sure because I didn't want to play yarn chicken um, and it worked out in the end and now they are finished. Um, I think these will be uh, worn again in fall because I'm not wearing my uh, socks with wool uh, anymore these days uh, because it is as I said before, it is very warm, very hot, even without uh, wearing wool. So uh, I try to keep uh, a little bit more cooler nowadays. Um, but uh, that won't stop me from knitting socks because it's very cool to do and um, I really like the process. And this also actually is my last finished object of this uh, month. Uh, so I will now show you the works in progress. I actually have two works in progress for this month. Uh, the first one actually is very far along. It is cardigan number eight by My Favorite Things Knitwear. And uh, she actually is almost done. I feel like uh, I could wear her like this if I wanted to. Uh, it would not look that good, but um, it is possible. Um, so I actually knit it. Uh, the body and the ribbing and also the sleeves uh, on both sides so the only thing i need to uh, put on is the button band and also i have to buy some buttons i have still not decided which buttons i want but uh, with this one i have to pick up stitches for the button band and one thing i don't really like about knitting is picking up stitches especially when there's a lot of stitches because if there is like picking up stitches for uh, the arm or like a small part, I'm fine with it. Uh, but this one is picking up the stitches around the whole body, which is a lot of stitches. And then I have to do the double knitted band, which is a lot of double knitting. And uh, I still have to space out where to uh, put the buttons uh, on the cardigan. So I, I have to do that as well. But uh, I didn't really feel like doing uh, that yet. So uh, she's on the back burner for a while until I find the motivation to actually pick up the stitches. Um, and uh, I also feel like I'm not in a hurry because it is so, so hot that I know I won't be wearing it soon anyways. But I'm really in love with the yarn that I used for this one. Uh, it is the Isager Aaron Tweed uh, in the color Confetti. And uh, it is this really nice speckled yarn uh, that I paired with uh, Isager Alpaca 1 uh, in the color 4S, which is like a gray, uh, grayish uh, fingering weight yarn. And uh, it really added a really nice uh, gray glow over the cardigan, which I like because uh, it had a little bit of a purplish gray tone on it and I wanted to lean more uh, into a gray tone. So I'm really happy uh, about it and uh, I love the way uh, it knits up but uh, I feel like the majority of this one is done. Uh, knitting the bottom band will be a beast but uh, once I have picked up the stitches it will be I think the worst part will, uh, will be done. Um, oh and also of course uh, it needs some pockets because there are some pockets on the cardigan in the pattern. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add pockets, I'm gonna decide later but I probably will. But yeah, I'm already uh, in love with this pattern as well. Uh, I wanted to make it from the beginning of my knitting journey and I've waited so long uh, to actually start this one. I have uh, tried it on a few times to see how it looks and I already uh, did not want to take it off every time. So this will be a great addition to my wardrobe. I did not have uh, a lot of cardigans before this and I always loved the look of cardigans so I'm really happy that I now uh, have the Agnes cardigan and also I'm working now on this cardigan but uh, for now uh, she is a bit on the back burner um, I hope I will find the motivation uh, soon to pick up the stitches but we'll see 
Then uh, the next whip um, is the zipper sweater by Petite Knit. And um, I bought the yarn for this uh, a while ago, which is the Pear Gint by Sandness Garn. I wanted to make some more bold color projects this year and uh, this is the first project I feel like that is really in a bold color. Uh, I have started this uh, at the beginning of this week and I am knitting the color at the moment. So um, I have to knit the color and uh, it has to be like uh, 21 centimeters or something uh, and then you fold it and then you knit it together. I think I am like two rows away from uh, having the length that, I, that it needs and after that I can start on the yoke uh, which is exciting but um, I am knitting this now on three millimeter needles. I'm using the Cnet Koshitsus uh, which I really love and uh, the yoke is knitted on four millimeter needles and I want to use my liquor ones uh, but the four millimeters are also needed for the button band uh, on the cardigan number eight uh, which means that I would not be able uh, to do them both uh, or I have to switch the needles every time which is just not nice so I'm also stalling a little bit with this one but uh, maybe I'm just gonna use my metal needles for either one of these um, I'll have to see about that and maybe I'll just switch needles between projects um, it's not that big of a deal uh, I really love uh, the look already of this one. The jelly bean green is really bright. Um, I feel like it doesn't really show on camera how bright it is, but in real life uh, it really has uh, a lot of brightness over it. Um, and I really love it. I feel like this color will suit me very well uh, and I'm very happy about that. And I think the look, uh, uh, the look of this sweater with a zipper is uh, something that will never go out of style and uh, because I'm making it in very bold color I feel like it will be a little bit uh, more special than uh, the ones that you see everywhere already. I do really love the petite knit pattern because of the videos that she has with all of the patterns so uh, I already looked up like three videos how to do stuff and it makes me more motivated to actually continue working on the pattern uh, continuously because uh, I can just look it up very easily and I don't have to research a lot uh, on my own which I sometimes have to do with other patterns but yeah, for now uh, I've just started on the color and uh, I will soon start on the yoke. I also tried to put the zipper in between uh, the color already to see how it would look. Because I have bought a black zipper. Um, because there wasn't really a zipper that really matched with the jelly bean green that I chose. Which I would not expect but... Um, yeah, I had to choose something, so uh, I tried it and uh, I feel like you can really disguise the black uh, if you really put the zipper in uh, the right way. So that was a relief to actually see that it would be possible. But uh, this also is my last whip. Um, I actually contemplated casting on the orange trousers from Le Poul. Um I already have the yarn and the pattern. Um, but I did not cast them on uh, yet because I want to work on them with the C-knit needles as well and uh, I already am using them for this one. But I think when I go uh, into the yoke I will probably cast on the orange trousers. And uh, for the orange trousers uh, I only have to use the 3mm for uh, the waistband so I don't even need them that long. So. Um, I will probably uh, knit the, the waistband and then after that I'm going to make camisoles with them. Because camisole season is really uh, coming up. Uh, I am also already wearing my camisoles from last year. So I'm wearing camisole number 8 uh, today. Which I was not able to wear a lot last year because I made it at the end of summer. Uh, but this year she's back and uh, I'm going to wear her a lot because I really love her. And uh, that's actually a, a nice transition into the next segment, which is acquisitions. And um, I bought some Knitting for Olive yarn. Um, it is merino and um, it is in the color pomegranate. And uh, of course, I'm gonna make a camisole with it. Uh, I feel like all my camisoles are made with 
uh, knitting for olive yarn because it's just such a nice yarn uh, it is a little bit expensive but you don't need much of it for a camisole so I can justify it for myself um, and um, I really loved this pomegranate uh, color from the Knitting for Olive series and um, I wanted to uh, find a good project to make with it and uh, I'm planning now to make pebble top from Le Knit with it um, I've seen a few uh, images of it on Instagram and it really spoke to me and I wanted to make one for myself and uh, I thought uh, it would be so nice to make it in this yarn so I immediately uh, ordered this yarn and um, it came in and the color really matched with the photos on uh, on their page which was great because that's not always the case and sometimes I'm a bit disappointed when uh, the yarn comes in when it does not look uh, like the color on their page uh, at all but yeah, I cannot wait to make something with this. Um, it is actually so uh, so much fun knitting camisoles and I really missed it. So I cannot wait to make a camisole again uh, with some nice luxury yarn. Um, I think there will be a cowl uh, as well from Typical Bliss. Uh, about the pebble top maybe um, but I'm not sure because uh, there were also a, a few other options uh, of things that uh, the cow could be about but um, I'm gonna make the pebble top anyway so uh, maybe um, maybe I'll make it and there is a cow about it and uh, I will join the cow or maybe there's no cow and I will just make it myself um, both will be fine um, and then uh, speaking about camisoles I have uh, a lot of ideas about camisoles uh, that I want to make uh, this summer um, because the pebble top is not the only one that I have my eye on uh, one other camisole that I uh, will definitely make this summer is the leaf top by uh, the knit stitch and uh, I have had my eye on this pattern for a long while uh, but in the beginning I did not feel that I was skilled enough to make it yet but now I know that I uh, made similar kind of lace patterns before so I would be fine knitting it and um, the yarn that I want to use for this pattern is actually Drops Paris which is really uh, cheap so it would not be that uh, expensive to make this top either uh, and I have a lot of like little buttons that I did not have projects to use them for and uh, I would like to use them uh, for some projects uh, and I can use them for this one so uh, that's actually very nice and I would love to make it I feel like the look is just really me and uh, it's very light and airy uh, which is perfect for summer um, so I would love to make that one um, and then the third camisole that I want to make is camisole number four by my favorite things knitwear and uh, I actually already made camisole number four last year but uh, I really love her and um, I want to make her in like a, a light powdery pink uh, last year I made her uh, in the Dusty Artichoke color which I really like and I got a lot of compliments when I wear that camisole uh, which I understand because she is very beautiful uh, so I would love to make uh, camisole number four again this year uh, in pink um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be pink or maybe like another pastel-y color but I want to make it in like a dusty uh, pastel color uh, because I really love uh, that, that color for that kind of camisole. I do think that I'm gonna uh, look up some more summer patterns that I could make uh, next season. Uh, I'll probably also make a video about it so uh, I can share all, all of them with you. But for now I just have these three camisoles on my mind. I'm also thinking about maybe doing a dress or something. But I feel like then the dress would be done when summer is already over. So um, yeah i'll have to look at like a good pattern that can be worn in summer and maybe also in winter with something underneath it um but i would love to make a dress because i have never made a dress before um at least not a knitted dress but uh yeah i feel like that will all be in the pattern video that will be coming soon 
and uh, that's just the thoughts that I will end with. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to me ramble about knitting. I at least uh, liked sharing it with you. Um, if you really enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more of me and keep updated, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, of course, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you next time. Thank you.